GeoPaint video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can create sort of curved focus lines and it's quite great for just creating lines that go out and it's curved at certain from a certain point. Now first thing to do just go to the figure tool and select ruler special ruler like so and that's it and then over here to the sub tool detail and focus curve just set that one and I'm going to go for the second there's three items going to go for the second one, all the rest set as before. Now, just quickly create a curve and I'm just going to go out and you can make as many points, sometimes you know you can vary it. So Some tools work better with longer, uh, I'm just going to stop at that point. Now you can actually modify it, hold the command down and just click there and then you can modify the point. So if you've gone wrong slightly earlier, you can move it. and you can also move the position as well, so you can drag it around, go on the line and then just drag it around as well. So you don't have to keep it in the same point, so you can move it around. Not always, it's a bit fiddly, but it does work, should work. Right, now go to, I'm going to use pen tool or I think pen tool, perfectly reasonable, pen tool and go for G pen then just draw the line out. Now sometimes it has a mind of its own which angle it goes, so you, you might just control Z until you're actually happy with the, lo the line itself, but it does follow the line, you can see it follow the line. Now when it reaches the end, you see it suddenly jerks off, so you might not want to go as far. So I'm using a mouse at that point. I can use an art pad as well, just so you can just see the line just going out there. And it follows the line. You can create some really interesting sort of ripple effects, but it, does like I say sometimes be slightly away from the position you think it will be so it's it's um, you can undo of course if it's not perfect you can just draw it make it thicker or less and you get these lovely ripples like so you can edit the and it will just do that I say sometimes you draw it in that way and suddenly it'll go far enough, far enough in the other direction I don't know why but it does seem to have mind its so, own but generally it does follow obviously the nice curve there. And like I say, like you can edit it. So if you decide you don't want that curve, go back and just go down there and then you can actually modify the curve. So I'm just gonna just quickly show you, just modify that, modify that. And then of course if you go back there, you've got the tool there, you can then start drawing and you can see the curve now. It goes off in a slightly different position. Not so effective combine them, but if you want to create a sort of random sort of ripple design, it's quite good. And as I say, you can make as many points within limits and create all kinds of weird and wonderful curved ripples and designs and waves like that. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.